Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're starting off at a pretty comfortable temperature out there at 79 degrees with a dew point of 57. A 57 degree dew point is comfortable. That's really nice. I don't think it'll stay there very long. You know, we had some dew points that were hovering in the upper 40s. We're already increasing it. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, we'll be solidly in the 60s, I think. And we'll start to think about fog once again. The reason that we're getting dew points rising is that right there, an easterly wind coming in right now, breezy at about 13, and that breezy east wind will continue. Because it's east, because it's not northeast, because we have an easterly flow, it's kind of cut off the cold air drainage, and it's cut off that drier air filtering southward. So we'll start to moisten the atmosphere with time. 75 degrees, Wachula, 76 in Arcadia, 76 Parish, Bradenton, Mayaka City, Lakewood Ranch at 75, Northport at 77, 76 degrees as well in Venice, and uh, 75 degrees in Inglewood. Longbow Key comes in at 74. So across our area, we have pretty dry air in place. It hasn't allowed for a whole lot of activity on radar. Now, we do have some showers in the southern tip of the state. Around Miami area, down through the Keys, we do have a chance at seeing some showers today and for the next several days. Because the winds are so strong out of the east that it picks up the moisture and slings it back in the direction of the peninsula. Now, eventually, with time, we might moisten our atmosphere enough that we could possibly pick up an isolated shower in inland areas. Particularly, I think, tomorrow. Because by tomorrow, the winds will relax just a little bit and maybe even allow for a little teeny bit of a sea breeze. But right now, everything is very quiet, and I don't expect any rainfall today. Boy. It's not quiet everywhere. Some parts of the country experiencing two large-scale storms. One of them in the center part of the country, one of them back west ejecting out of the lower Rockies. What we're going to see is some snowfall accumulations as those winds kind of slam against the mountain range and really wring out their uh, moisture. We could see a foot of snow in and around the Denver area. Plus, anywhere from 6 to 8 inches, maybe isolated pockets of 12-inch drifts, in an area that extends from Minneapolis, St. Paul, down through Chicago and back toward Kansas City. The further to the south you get, the lighter the snowfall totals will be. But it could indeed, by tonight through tomorrow, impact the Chicago O'Hare Airport hub. So if you're traveling in that direction, realize there could be a delay because of it. You look at the upper level winds and you see that the general motion is from the southwest to the northeast. And that is exactly where these double barrel low pressure areas are headed. For us, a lot of sunshine around today. We do have some cloudiness to the north. That cloudiness to the north associated with a warm front. And here's why we have that warm front. These double barrel areas of low pressure producing rain showers along the coast in the Pacific, snow at higher elevations of the Olympics and the uh, Cascades, and then this low pressure area out in the open plains producing rain showers and snow showers move off to the north and to the east. As they move off to the north and the east, this large area of high pressure is pushed a little further south. Our winds around it come up out of the south, and hence we have a warm front lifting north. That warms the entire peninsula, and we stay in that east or southeast wind right straight through the extended period, bringing us some very warm conditions. Near record-breaking warmth, I think, in some locations inland. Mild afternoon today, warmer tomorrow, and we'll watch for that humidity returning, bringing us a chance of an isolated fog uh, issue over the course of the next several mornings. Northeast wind each day at about 5 to 10, surging tonight. I don't think we'll necessarily see that surge tomorrow night. Forecast looks like this. Look for a warm weekend with daytime highs in the 80s, and that extends right into next week. Don't see a large rain chance any day this week. Back to you.